continue our coverage of the Brussels terror attack, officials are now confirming who they believe is responsible for the bombings. 22 News reporter Ashley Afonso is live in the studio this morning with what we now know about those suspects. We have new information this morning about the identities of the bombers in Brussels. Police are still searching for at least one surviving suspect they believe helped carry out Tuesday's attacks that killed more than 30 people and wounded hundreds. One of the suicide bombers is believed to be Ibrahim El Bakrui. He's the one in the center of the surveillance photo. Initial reports indicated that law enforcement was searching for 24-year-old Najim Lasharui, but now U.S. and Belgium U.S. and Belgium intelligence sources said Wednesday that they are certain he died at the airport. He's the one dressed in black to the far left of that surveillance photo. Ibrahim's brother Khalid is believed to have been the suicide bomber in the city subway system. He's not pictured in this photo and the man they're searching for is the one here. The man dressed in white in the hat. They are still searching for him. They believe he was somehow involved in the bombing at the airport. Officials say there is evidence that also connects the Brussels attacks to the to last November's Paris attacks. They believe Najim may have been the Paris bomb maker. According to Belgian and French media reports, a second attacker is suspected of taking part in the bombing at the subway station and may still be on the run. No names yet have been released for those suspects. Ashley Afonso, 22 News.